Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From the independent under the main headline of Lewis Hamilton could walk away if Mercedes are third fastest. Martin Brundle claims summary of headline article. Sky Sports F1 commentator Martin Brundle believes Lewis Hamilton could walk away from the sport at the end of the year if Mercedes are unable to catch frontrunners Ferrari and Red Bull. Despite Hamilton taking a podium in Bahrain last Sunday, Mercedes W13 Challenger for 2022 is not yet as fast as the machinery developed by their biggest rivals. The regulation change has been devised in order to increase the quality of racing in F1. Now, Brundle says he doubts Hamilton will stick around for long if he is merely competing to finish best of the rest. As long as he's still enjoying the bits around F1 or he can tolerate those bits around F1 and balance it out with just loving driving the car, he'll stay. From the sun under the main headline of watch Mike Tyson's ice cool reaction after crazed fan pulls. Gun at comedy gig. Summary of headline article. Mike Tyson remained the coolest man in the room after a crazed fan pulled out a gun during a Hollywood comedy gig. Iron Mike, 55, was taking in an evening of laughs with friends when things turned sour at a packed rooftop bar. But in a shocking video obtained by TMZ, a random member of the audience is seen approaching Tyson and reportedly asking for a rumble. Revelers ducked under tables as the gun was cocked. But Tyson refused to get confrontational and continued to sit unmoved at his table. But didn't fire credit. Back grid 8 heavyweight champ Tyson remained motionless throughout the commotion credit. Back grid 8 after putting away his weapon. The man returned to talk to Iron Mike credit. Back grid. From Metro under the main headline of ex-Arsenal midfielder Mazut Erzl, suspended indefinitely, by Fenerbahce. Summary of headline article. Mazut Erzl complained after he was subbed at half-time during Fenerbahce's latest win. Getty. Mazut Erzl has been suspended indefinitely from Fenerbahce's squad following a bust-up with the team's head coach Ishmael Kartal. Erzl, meanwhile, has struggled for form in recent weeks and was substituted at halftime in Fenerbahce's 2-1 win over Konyaspor on Sunday. I could have stayed on the pitch longer, Erzl is said to have told Kartal. Mazut Erzl has scored nine goals and registered two assists for Fenerbahce this season. Getty. Fenerbahce have now decided to suspend both Erzl and Turfan, with the two players not even able to train with the rest of their teammates. Erzl has scored nine goals and registered two assists for Fenerbahce so far this season. From the Telegraph under the main headline of Jermaine Defoe retires after Sunderland return. Backfires. Summary of headline article. Jermaine Defoe has announced his immediate retirement from football less than two months after his signing for Sunderland hastened the departure of former Black Cats manager Lee Johnson. There were a number of reasons why Johnson was sacked by Sunderland in January. Not least a 6-0 away defeat to Bolton Wanderers. I can't stop smiling because this is a special move for me for many reasons, said Defoe on his return to Wearside back in February. And Sunderland sporting director Chris Jan Speakman gushed. We all know how highly regarded Jermaine is amongst our fan base and within the wider community. Sunderland. Though are not the same club they were when he played for them under Sam Allardyce and David Moyes in the Premier League. From Metro under the main headline of Ash Barty refuses to rule out comeback after announcing shock. Retirement. Summary of headline article. 
Ash Barty has refused to rule out a comeback after announcing her retirement at the age of 25. Picture. Ash Barty Instagram. Ash Barty has said she would never say never about returning to professional tennis following her shock retirement. Ash Barty was full of praise for new women's world number no. one Iga Swiatek. Picture. Getty. You guys love to whisper. Don't you? I'm not sure of what the possibilities are. With who becomes number one following her retirement. I've never been one to look at it much, Barty said. The way that she's brought this fresh, fearless energy onto the court has been incredible. World number one explains decision to quit tennis for a second time for more stories like this. Check our sport page. From Daily Star under the main headline of Paddy Pimblett treats himself to 10,000 calorie binge. But won't balloon to 195 pounds. Summary of headline article. Paddy Pimblett has pledged to avoid a repeat of the weight gain that saw him climb to light heavyweight levels post UFC debut following his blockbuster return to action in London. Paddy the Baddy backed up his fighting talk with a first round rear naked choke submission victory over Rodrigo Vargas, and has since been treating himself with highly calorific meals. Should Paddy Pimblett be given a UFC main event slot? He told Daily Star Sport. There's a few belters in there like Jeremy Piven wishing me good luck. But. Rio. Ferdinand has messaged me which is nice. I'll just be there ready and waiting. If they want to book me for a main event just tell me a date and I'll be there. Skinny Paddy will be back. From Metro under the main headline of Boris Johnson backs Ukraine to host Euro 2028 despite UK and Ireland bid. Summary of headline article. The Prime Minister had previously offered full government backing to UK and Ireland's bid. Picture. Sky News. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson appeared to suggest Ukraine should be awarded the right to host Euro 2028 despite the UK and Ireland being in the running for the same event. He said. I think the idea of Russia holding any football tournament or any kind of cultural event right now is beyond satire. Johnson tweeted in support of that submission on Wednesday, writing, The UK and Ireland bid for the UEFA Euro 2028 has this government's full backing. Our world-class stadiums and passionate fans stand ready to host one of the world's greatest sporting events. We realize that currently the chances have decreased. And yet, if they do exist, you have to seize them. More. Russia says it wants to host Euro 2028 or 2032 despite World Cup ban more. UK home nations and Republic of Ireland confirm bid to host UEFA Euro 2028 tournament for more. Stories like this. Check our sport page. From iNews under the main headline of five questions Ten Hag and Pochettino will face in their Man United. Job interviews. Summary of headline article. Big names like Marcus Rashford and Harry Maguire are viewed as part of the problem, but everything can't be ripped up. Ten Hag is a training ground coach who leads from the front. Unlikely to do the delegating that undermined Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Ten Hag likes wide players and presses full backs high up the pitch which looks like a good fit. It is a key consideration. Can the new man handle that scrutiny? Spurs reportedly moved on from Ten Hag because an initial interview left him underwhelmed and his English has been questioned. From the Independent under the main headline of Michael Marzi still important figure, despite Sacking over F1 Furore. FIA insists. Summary of headline article. New FIA president Mohammed Ben Sulayam insists that sacked Formula One race director Michael Marzi. 
remains an important figure to the FIA. Despite removing the Australian from his role over his controversial handling of the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, quote, we wanted to take the pressure and the stress from him because he really went through a lot, Ben Sulayam told the FIA website. Ben Sulayam also previously announced the creation of a VAR-like system for Formula One which a virtual race control room supporting on-track officials in their decision-making. Like VAR in football, it will be positioned in one of the FIA offices as a backup outside the circuit. It will help to apply the sporting regulations using the most modern technological tools, MARSI. Unexpectedly became F1 race director in March 2019 when previous incumbent Charlie Whiting died. Unexpectedly in Melbourne shortly before the Australian Grand Prix. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of Stephen Gerrard pinpointed Paul Pogba's same problem. As him amid transfer links. Summary of headline article. Paul Pogba is out of contract at the end of the season and rumours suggest Aston Villa manager. Steven Gerrard is monitoring his situation. With Newcastle also interested Aston Villa manager Steven Gerrard is reportedly lining up a shock. And rather ambitious. Move for Manchester United midfielder Paul Pogba having previously pinpointed his biggest flaw. United haven't won silverware during the last five campaigns. With the Frenchman scoring 39 goals in 222 appearances. Image. David S. Bustamante. Getty Images. David S. Bustamante. Getty Images. Which club will Paul Pogba join? Whether it is with Manchester United or at another club. I want to win trophies. I get along very well with Daishom. He gave me a role that I know. But at Manchester United do I really have a role? Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day thank you for your support goodbye.